Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. Well, this time we usually don't consider this as measurement, but yes, it is somehow. Yeah? We are speaking about switches and not any switches. We are speaking about uh, proximity switches. Well, right now I'm talking about switches because these are mechanical switches. Look at this, how this is looking. Uh, here is a miniature switch. All right. So there is a lever, roller lever, uh, which can be operated. And then you hear a click. And here are three connectors. And you can see the three connectors are labeled. Yeah. You see, there is one C, there is one NO, there is one NC. On the other side, it's labeled different. On the other side, it's labeled one, two, and three. Let me read this. Uh, uh, one, two, three. It's it's written there. All right. So this is the English version. Uh, C, N, C, N, O. Uh, and this is this is the the European version or with one, two, three. What does this mean? Well, let's analyze this switch. This switch is, is switching, right? Switch is switching. So I'm going to connect now to the C. Yeah. Here, this is one cable. I will connect this to C, to the C connector. Yeah. And I will connect this to pulsars. Yeah. Here I have some voltage here these are these are just lamps little lamps okay and i will use this one here to the no yeah so this is the no this is the black cable it's here i will do this here at the red light okay and at the at the uh, green light Fix this here a little bit. Uh, at the green light, I will put the contact NC. Uh, and you see, ooh, it immediately came on. It immediately came on. So NC is already on. Yeah? So here is C, here is NC, here is NO. And if I push, ah, it's switching. All right, this is because NC, which is normally connected, means normally closed. Okay, if I not operate, that's normal, then the C, the common, is connected to normally closed. And if I operate, the C is connected to normally open. Okay, so these are the two states the switch can have. We have three connectors, one common, one normally open, one normally closed. And if you adjust it the way that something which is passing by is touching this, you can determine if something is there or not. Okay, that's the reason for those proximity switches, this mechanical proximity switch. Yeah, if something is getting close, it will push the button and that's it. Say, okay, this is really a tiny switch. Right? A very tiny switch. Is this, I mean, can I use this in really heavy industry environment? <laughs> yes, you can. But you could also buy something like this. Yeah? This is pretty similar to what we have just seen. But, back, 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 back. It is more rigid design simply. All right. So this is also proximity switch. You can see you can adjust this lever here. Yeah. So let's open this maybe and see inside what are connections. And we also see here, yeah, here is also normally open three and four ports and normally closed one and two. Yeah. So these are, these are for this limit switch, let's open this thing. 
Let's open this thing and look inside how this how this looks like. All right. Here are the connectors. Here are the connectors, and they are also N O N C. They are labeled. Uh, they are labeled. You can see them inside. Uh, and if I move this, you see this is switching. Other side. Doing exactly the same. So this can be used in this direction or in this direction. Does not really matter. We will determine if something is here. Yeah. This is also very usual that you can put in the cable and the cable is somehow protected by a sharp band. So this is more mechanical stuff. Yeah. yeah. And that's actually it. This is how such switch looks from the inside. Yeah. So with such switch, with, with such switches, we can determine if something is there or not. All right. So I will put this away. Yeah. I'll do this afterwards. Put this away. Back, ready, and let's draw it. Yeah. Let's draw it. So we have some switch, mechanical switch. Usually we have two connectors. Yeah. They are drawn like this. Here is the switch. This is how it is operated. Yeah, and. What we have actually seen is a roller lever. Okay, something like this. And here we have the one connector, the two and the three connector, or this is no, this is the common, yeah? this is the normally open, yeah? and this is the normally closed contact. Yeah? So let's see, means common. NO, normally open, and NC, normally closed. Yeah. Some do only have two contacts, then it's usually a normally open contact. When you push the button, then it's closed. Yeah. But there are also switches which are only one normally closed contact. Yeah? Emergency switches are usually like this. They are normally closed and if I operate, they are open. Yeah? They are like this. Yeah? This is what this looks like. Here we have the C, common. Yeah. All right, so that's a mechanical switch. Mechanical, because there is really some sheet of metal in there which is operating this thing. All right, so this there, it's really operating, it's really operating there. Yeah? Such mechanical switches, you see, they've worked, right? They work. However, they have some issues. They have some issues. One issue, actually, yeah, is limited. Switching frequency. Okay. They are switching quite fast. Yeah? However, if I really want to determine uh, very fast, uh, if they are not, yeah, very fast process, then there's a limit. Yeah. This, this, these connectors in there, these switching things, they all have a mass, they need to be accelerated and so on. Yeah, so we have limited switching frequency. You cannot go beyond, I, I'm not sure. Yeah. However, 10 Hertz pff, is already, is already big trouble. Yeah. Not only because of the mass of this thing, but also because of the wear. All right. So there is some sort of wear. On there, yeah, we have also limited switching cycle count. 
This switch is good for 10,000 or whatever number, all right? Why is that? Huh? Why is this a limited number? Well, because we have some wear. Let's think about, we have seen how those, how those contacts look like. They usually look like this. Huh? And if they're brand new, they look like that. All right? And whenever those contacts are open, yeah, so they are torn apart by some force, yeah, then there's usually a spark. Yeah. There's some current, there's some current, and it cannot be turned off immediately. There's a little spark, little poof, yeah, inside, little flash. Yeah. And where it's a flash, it's getting hot. Yeah. And so, there is, there is here at the surface, there is some corrosion. And over time, those little flashes, they melt the material. The material is vaporized or is going away. It's just tiny, tiny, tiny bits. You are not noticing it first. However, those surfaces, they get really, you know, not that shiny, not that perfect anymore. So we have corroded surfaces. Yeah? And then we might end up in a situation where we are only touching at a tiny, 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 tiny spot. Yeah? Not real big spot, but a tiny spot. Where there is current passing, yeah? and this current is now needs to go to a tiny spot. Yeah? And this tiny spot is getting hot. All right? So there is a hot, tiny spot. Yeah? And what is material doing? Metal, if it's getting hot, it is melting. So there is melting. Yeah. And then suddenly those, this spot is getting bigger because it's melted together. And it's cooling off. And what we have done? We have welded the two contacts together. They will never get open again. Yeah. Say they are stick, pick and blim. German. They stick together. Yeah. Actually, we have welded them together. And this is what happens if you have a lot of corrosion there. Yeah. The contacts will stay together. Yeah. You cannot open it anymore because they are welded together. This is why you have limiting switching cycles. Yeah? Cycles. Because you simply have wear. And Somehow related to those things is you have bouncing. Yeah. Bouncing contact. What is that? What is that again? There are two switches. There are two things which are touching each other. They are springy a little bit. Yeah. And so they are touching each other. And it might happen that those two things, they are touching each other. Puck, and then they will, they will, they will do it several times, yeah. Like it's it's springy, yeah. And you have then the situation, yeah, that it looks like that. A perfect switch would look like that, yeah. Book. Perfect switch. And in mechanical contexts, you usually have it like this, that it needs to be accelerated, you know, then you're touching this, then you might get away and then poof, you're switching off and on several times yeah and then you stay on yeah this is this bouncing yeah that the contacts are simply boom, boom, yeah, bouncing because it's springy yeah this is why you have seen inside this switch here that this thing it's really springing yeah from one side to the other 
back, 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 back. This is not by accident. This is because of the design. So they, they usually design the, spring, the, 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 the switches that way that they really, you know, there is a triggering point and they really back. It's spring loaded. You load the spring and then poof, they are switching to the other direction. This is to prevent this bouncing. They really press, try to press it with force against the other contact. All right. So this is the reason why, because we have this bouncing and the more we press this together, the less bouncing we have. Right. However, this is happening. This is happening. And also those sparks are happening. Yeah. So, and those sparks, imagine we have an explosive atmosphere. Yeah. We have an explosive uh, stuff somewhere around us. Yeah. Spark. Ooh, yeah. It's not that easy. So, also, these mechanical contacts cause issues in, in explosive environments. Actually, they are used quite often, yeah, because they are easy, they are cheap, and they are, uh, if it's not switched too often, reliable, yeah, and they, they can easily, easily be adjusted. You see exactly what it is about and, and such thing, yeah. However, they have quite a lot of downsides. Yeah? This is why these mechanical contacts are, there are other proximity switches, yeah? other type of proximity switches. And of those types, we're going to talk about in the next video. Yeah? Next video, we're talking about of a so-called read switch, yeah? double E, read. What this is about and how this is switched, because it has no mechanical, you don't have to touch it to switch, yeah? but how is it switching then? We'll discuss in the next video. Yeah? For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.